And some of you have seen me on the 700 Club. I want to say I'm glad to be here today to let you know that Jesus has changed my life. That I am a new creature. That you know, I was making $10,000 an hour. And Jesus called me. I was buying dope. I was heavy. I was a dope addict. I was using heroin. I was using marijuana. I was using angel dust. And I was on cocaine. I was paying $1,000 an ounce for this cocaine. And I had four people that died in my life. I had one fellow one night I was appearing in Los Angeles at a place called Magic Mountain Amusement Park. He called and made reservations to come out to hear me sing and play the piano. And he never did arrive. He got shot in the head. I had another friend of mine that was coming out of the house in Los Angeles and they put him in the trunk of his car and drove him around the town and took a butcher knife and cut him up. And they called the policeman and said, we found a dead man. But what the policemen didn't know, that they're the ones that killed him. Then I had another friend one night, I went to his house and got a $50 piece of cocaine. And he told me, to take care of yourself, old man. I said, I'm not old. He said, take care of yourself, old man. And when I left there, he had a heart attack that night. Then Ike and Tina Turner were supposed to appear down in Miami Beach. And they couldn't go. Tina got sick. And they sent me to go in Tina Turner's place. And being Little Richard singing Good Golly, Miss Molly, and Tutti Fruity, and Long Tall Sally, and Lucille, and all of these songs, I had to go. So I went down there, and when I got down there, and I sung, and I came back to Los Angeles, and my brother went out and watered his lawn in Los Angeles, and walked, walked his little boy, he came in and had a massive heart attack. Then I started thinking, that is no secret what God can do. Can't you say amen? What he's done for others, he will do for you. Not only did he take me from dope, letting me know that my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, that I was bought with the price, that I don't belong to myself, that Jesus by God me a long time ago, that I belong to God. But Jesus didn't only take me from narcotics. He didn't only take me from dope, but he changed me from homosexuality. I was full of unnatural affection that Jesus had to get me. I was so out in unnatural affection. I had got so that I didn't want no woman. All I wanted was a man. I got so that I didn't want to be on God's side. I didn't want no part of Jesus. I just wanted to be a homosexual. I got so that I would wear all kind of mascara, all kind of makeup. You couldn't tell what I was. Sometimes the people say, what is it? Who is it? Or why is it? But Jesus touched my life. Jesus got me. And the Bible lets us know in Matthew, the 11th chapter, verse 28, Jesus said, come down to me, all ye that labor in the heavenly age, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Jesus started talking to me, and he set my feet on the solid rock. Started me to walk and to let me know what the Bible says in Jeremiah, the 32nd chapter, verse 27. Behold, I'm the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? There are too many people that are talking about Jesus that are homosexuals today. There are too many people that call themselves preachers and they're homosexuals. You cannot be holy and be homosexual. If you are homosexual, you do not know Jesus. Jesus will save you. He will call you out of darkness to walk in this marvelous light. Jesus said that I have set before you an open door and no man can shut it. People today, you see women with women, men with men, and now they're calling it. You see some people say that I'm bisexual. By what spirit are you? A lot of people say they got the ghost, but it's the ghost holy. You understand me? If it's the Holy Ghost, you got to do what Jesus wants you to do. Jesus said, Behold, you are a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. If you got Jesus, listen, Jesus loves the homosexual. Jesus loves the lesbian, but he wants you to give it up. You got to let it go. And Jesus specializes in the impossible. And he can do what no other power but Holy Ghost power 
can do. And if you want to overcome, Jesus can help you to overcome. He's a great God. He wants to save you. Soon and very soon, we're going to see the king, my brother and my sister. Jesus wants you to get your life ready. He wants you to get to reason with the great God of the universe. Come not to me, all ye that labor. And come now, let us reason together. Can't you imagine that the great God of the universe want to reason with a sinner like little Richard? A little unnatural man from Macon, Georgia. A man that Jesus said that I made man in my image. The devil said he's a lie. Whatever God made real, the devil likes to make a counterfeit. He makes me homosexual. Mothers, fathers, sisters and brothers, watch your children. Don't let your children go anywhere. Don't let everybody keep your children. You don't know what they're doing with your children over there. And a lot of people are giving your children all kind of gifts. Don't accept those gifts. And say, this is my God child. Some of them are guarding them until they get old enough to have. You understand me? Get your Bible and read your Bible. Jesus said that the word is a lamp unto your feet in Psalms 119, 105. It's a light unto your path. Jesus says in Matthew 4, 4, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. The Bible tells us in Psalm 119, verse 11, Jesus says, David says, thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Don't you know that the Bible is good from Genesis to Revelation? The Old Testament speaks, the New Testament says, Amen, Hallelujah! Jesus want to help you today. He wants you to overcome. He wants you to give up unnatural affection. The whole world, listen, Sodom and Gomorrah's fire shines down in Memphis tonight. Everywhere you look, you see people that are unnatural. You can't tell men from women. Preachers are preaching, and they're not preaching it because they won themselves. And Jesus says, give it up. Come out of it. Jesus wants you to say no to the darkness. So you can look up and say yes to the light. He wants you to say no to the lowest. So you can say yes to the highest. Jesus loves you. He wants you to read your Bible. Read your Bible. Read your Bible as that's never before. Study your Bible. Turn off that television and read your Bible. I want you to know that God is real in my soul. What shall it profit a man if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give God in exchange for his soul? The Lord said no man can serve two masters. For you either will love one or hate the other, or else you will hold the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. You can't drink out of God's cup and the devil's cup. What fellowship have light with darkness? The Bible says in Proverbs the 22nd chapter verse 1, Jesus says that a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. More than love and favor. Rather than silver or gold, the rich and the poor meet together. God is the maker of them all. Jesus want to help you. Jesus wants to save you. I want to sing a little song for you. Just a little of it. There are some things I may not know.
sign your autograph if you want me at a big table tonight. If you want to see me, I'll be very glad to sign your autograph. And you pray for me as I travel the world for Jesus. Thank you. I'm going to be down to the table. Is that in the back, Bishop? After, after service, I'm going to be down here with the Black Heritage Bible. And I want each one of you to come. It's going to be back here in the back. Is that right? Back down here? Okay, thank you very much. Come on, say praise the Lord. Come on, say praise the Lord. God bless you. Amen. We have a table down there with the Black Heritage Bible that little Richard is associated and affiliated with, and he'll be there at that table. Pastors that would like to get involved in the program, you can take the Bible back home, and, uh, you know, at, on, a, on assignments and what have you, so you can come down to the table, you'll find out all about it.